Today, we are discussing all things Loot Respawn, right here in Savin's World. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Savin's World, the gaming channel for all things Seven Days to Die. Now, if you are ready to learn all things Seven Days to Die and take your Seven Days gameplay to the next level, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. Today, we are discussing all things Loot Spawn. How exactly does the Loot Spawn mechanic work in Seven Days to Die? We are about to find out. So, let's head to the testing site and let's get to it. So this is the testing site that I have set up for the loot spawn mechanic. In previous tests, we have learned that you need to be at least eight blocks away from a loot container in order for the loot to respawn. So we're gonna test and see, make sure that still works in alpha 19. But I've also been asked a couple of questions. What about the vertical distance? We've tested the horizontal distance, but we did not test the vertical distance. So we went ahead and set up a vertical test as well. And I was also asked, what if you leave some of the existing loot in the container? Will that still respawn? We are about to find out. So let me show you what the setup I have here. We've got this here that we're gonna test, use to test the vertical distance. Now we're gonna start off being seven blocks away. If that doesn't work, we will add another block and move to eight blocks away. I'm pretty sure it's still eight blocks, we're gonna test that just to be sure. On the actual loot, I've got two, I've got a gun store box and a shamway box down here. And then above that, we've got a reinforced chest and a weapons bag. So we will be able to uh, test these bad boys both vertically and horizontally. Plus these will always be guaranteed to have something in them opposed to as opposed to the trash containers, which are oftentimes empty. So the first thing we're gonna test is the horizontal distance. So I'm gonna go ahead and search the Shamway box and we will take all of the loot out. Ooh, we got some meat stew, very nice. And then we are going to park our happy butts right here on block number seven as of right now. We're gonna stare off into the distance. I had the loot respawn timer set to five days. So all we have to do is let five days pass and we will see if that container is lootable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up time. We're gonna allow the five days to pass. I'm gonna leave it on screen. I'm gonna speed it up though. It's gonna be fast forwarded so you won't have to sit here for very long. Just be a few seconds to you. It'll be five days to, uh, in game for me. And we will see if the that Shamway box has reset the loot after five days. Hang tight, we'll be right back. And there's the morning bell on day six. Let's get closer to eight. There we go. Bump the speed back down here. There we go. And let's go check our Shamway crate. And as you can see, it has not respawned. So next test, boom, we're gonna bump this up to seven. So now we're gonna be standing eight blocks away. Get our lovely Vista in the background and we are gonna fast forward to day 11 and then we're going to see if the loot has respawned. So let's crank up the speed, yoink, all the way up to the maximum. And I will see you folks at about 8.30 on day 11. And there is the morning bell for day 11 and 8.30. That'll work. Let's crank the speed back down to one. And let's go check our Shamway crate. And it has, boom, it has reset. There you have it, folks. You have to be at least eight, eight blocks away from an empty loot container in order for the loot to respawn. So that's why we've got this set up here. 
one through seven. Park your happy butt on block eight and the loot will respawn. So as long as you stay at least eight blocks away, you should be good. Next, let's test the vertical space. So what if you are eight blocks away vertically? Will that work? It should. Distance should not matter vertically or horizontally, but we will test it out just in case. So as you can see here, I have the block where the item is um, held here. And then we've got seven blocks up and we will be standing on the eighth block at the very top. And this should respawn. So let's go ahead and loot, grab all the goodies, and let's head upstairs. And we're going to park our happy butt right here, stare off into the distance, and we're going to come back at about 8.45 on day 16. We will check that chest and see if it has uh, respawned. Also, the Shamway crate below it will also have respawned because it has been more than five days and I'm more than eight blocks away. So this is to test if the vertical distance works the same as the horizontal. So let's go ahead and speed up time here. Zoop, all the way up to maximum. And I will see you folks on the morning of day 16. And there is the morning of day 16 and oop, we're doing a little too a little farther than we needed to that's okay so we're closer to nine o'clock but as long as it's past about 8 45 we should be good bump the speed back down to one and let's hop down our little guy here and let's check our crates okay and look at that boom and boom they are both reset all right, so we're going to go ahead and loot everything, get these emptied. Now, let's test again and see what happens if we throw a frame in these bad boys. Does this still work? Now, I can, I should, oh, here, and I will do this as well. I will loot this weapons bag, and I will loot the gun store box, just so I can show you the difference. So these both have wood frames in them. These are empty. And I'm going to place my happy butt right here. That way we can get our nice view of the di distance here. And we're going to be standing literally right next to all of these loot containers. Two of which have something in them. Two of which do not. And we are going to fast forward to day 21 at about 9.15 in the morning. And we are going to see what happens to these four loot containers. So let's go ahead and speed up time. Zoop, all the way up to maximum again. And I will see you folks on the morning of day 21. And day 21 is upon us. Let's get a little closer to, there we go, that should work. Bust the time back, speed back down to one. And let's take a look at our loot containers. So, oh no, our weapons bag and our gun store box are empty. Boo. But what about the chest and the shamway box that we put the frames in? Well, let's go in, let's loot our frames and boom, there it is. Search reinforced chest is back. Let's see the Shamway box and boom, Shamway box has reset. So as long as you have an item in the box, it should reset. Now let's do this. Let's say you're looting and you're like, oh wow, look at all this awesome stuff. I'm gonna definitely take the nine millimeter ammo. I'm gonna take the Gravedigger mod. Yes, we'll take that. We'll take you, you, we'll take you, we'll take you. Oh, look at this, a pump shotgun. Oh, heck yeah, I love that. What is this, a skull cap mod? Ah, screw that, I don't want the skull, skull cap mod. So you leave that in the in the, uh, in the the chest. And then in the sham way, you're like, oh man, old sham sandwich. Okay, I'll take the honey, but I don't want those old sham sandwiches. Screw those. What happens if you leave items in the chest? So. 
We know that if you leave like frames or, or items that you've crafted or items uh, on your inventory, if you place those into the chest, the, the loot will respawn. However, what if you loot the chest and leave some items from the original spawn in the chest? Does that mess things up at all? We're gonna give that a test as well. That's gonna be the next test. We're gonna leave those uh, looted items that we didn't want. We're gonna leave them in there. We never actually took them out of the chest. We're gonna see what that does to the loot respawn. And for this test, I'm going to start at the um, eight block mark instead of standing right next to it. And you'll see why when I go ahead and get to the next test. But for now, we're gonna speed things up. We're gonna go to the morning of day 26 and we will see exactly what this does to the loop respawn. So there we go, sped up time. I will see you folks on the morning of day 26. The morning of day 26 is upon us. Let's get closer to that'll work. About 9.30 in the morning. We're gonna bump the speed back down and let's take a look at our loot. So these two, there you go, they have both re reset, so the loot has respawned. Now, let's take a look at these two. Remember, these were the chests that we left some of the loot behind. So, oh, yeah, look, I completely forgot about that Skullcap mod. So let's take that and look away, and boom, there it is. The chest has indeed reset. Ooh, tier six Desert Vulture? Are you kidding me? Why can't I find this in my playthroughs? Oh my God. Oh, sometimes this testing world just breaks my heart. <laughs> oh, but we're going to take everything again except for we're gonna leave some iron arrows. And we're gonna take a look here at the Shamway box, same thing. Ah, crappy Shamway sandwich, I always throw those on the ground, I don't want those. And boom, it has reset. And, <laughs> of course, throw away three, it gives you five. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Okay, so for the last test, oh, I need to go ahead and uh, empty these bad boys out as well. And we want these to be completely empty. Because for the last test, we are going to park ourselves on the top here, and we're gonna let three days go by. So on day 29, we're gonna hop on down and do a run by past all of these loot containers. Two of which have loot in them, two of which are completely empty. Then we're gonna hop back up, fast forward to day 31, and we will see if running past still affects the loot resetting. So we're gonna get up here on our little platform. We are eight blocks high, so we know that the loot should respawn as long as we're eight blocks away. We're gonna stare off into the distance. We're gonna fast forward time. And on day 29, we will do a quick run by. So let me go ahead and speed up time here to max. There we go. And I will see you folks on the morning of day 29. And there is the morning bell on day 29. It doesn't really matter the time because this is just our run by here. So we're gonna slow it down. Let's hop on down from our little perch here. Down we go. And all we're gonna do is just run by. We're not actually gonna open any of the containers. We're just gonna get within eight blocks. And, oh, I don't wanna fall off. Up we go, back to our perch. And we are going to fast forward to day 31, and we are going to see if running past loot containers does anything to the respawn timer. So I will see you folks at about 9.45, I will say 10 o'clock on day 31. See you folks in a bit. And day 31 is upon us. We want to get closer to 10 o'clock and then we'll slow things down. That'll work. And whoop, back down to low speed here. Let's go see how our loot containers are doing. 
down we go and we take a look at these oh bummer 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 running pass seems to have reset our two boxes our weapons bag and our gun store box but let's take a look at the shamway box and the reinforced chest so we left the iron arrows in here let's take those out and boom look at that it is searchable and not as good stuff as before but who cares because uh, this is our final test and the shamway box oh stupid sham sandwiches go away and it resets what do we got more sham sandwiches <laughs> oh i love it oh this game is so awesome so it does not matter what you put in the, to the containers you can either put in something of your own you can leave some some of the loot behind it does not matter as long as there is something in the loot container the loot respawn time will not be reset doesn't matter how close you get you can literally stand on top of the container as long as there is something inside of it and the loot will respawn some very very interesting results today to be sure folks so what exactly have we learned about loot respawn we have learned that you have to be at least eight blocks away from an empty loot container either horizontally or vertically it does not matter as long as you are at least eight blocks away from an empty loot container it will respawn after your set loot respawn time so if you have respawn set at five days after five days as long as you're eight blocks away the loot will respawn if you have it set to 30 days after 30 days the loot will respawn as long as you stay at least eight blocks away from an empty container however if you leave anything anything at all in a loot container you can stand as close to that bad boy as you want and no matter what the loot will respawn so you could leave a piece of iron you could leave a stone you could leave a wood frame you could leave the crappy sham sandwiches that it tried to give you it doesn't matter if it's something from your inventory or something that was already in the loot container as long as there's something in it the loot will respawn no matter how close you get to the actual item it will never reset that loot respawn timer so big word of advice to you folks out there if there is a loot container that you want to guarantee will respawn the loot leave something behind anything like i said could be a stone could be a piece of iron could be a wood frame could be a piece of wood could be the crappy sham sandwiches that the game tried to give you that you really didn't want anything you leave anything in those containers and they will respawn so there you have it folks that was all things loot respawn were you folks surprised by the results of today's experiments let me know in the comments below but for now this is Savin saying thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me in Savin's world if you found this video helpful and or enjoyable, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.